For today's demonstration, I will be performing moving transfer patient and therapeutic position. I'm Nurse Christine at your service. Good day, Mom. My name is Christine Gerard Straga, your nurse for today. I will be transferring you from bed to chair. First, you will need to explain the procedure to the patient. The first thing we will need to do is the patient must be sitting in the bed, but we must assist her by holding her right hand and insert my left hand at her back. Also, I will count 1 to 3 to alert the patient and cooperate with me. 1, 2, 3. And the next step, I will still support the patient back and insert my right hand under her legs and swing at the edge of the bed. And still, I will count 1, 2, 3 to alert and cooperate my patient with me. 1, 2, 3. Next, I will place my knee between her legs and put my hands at her back and allow my patient to hold on to me. I will count 1 to 3 to alert and cooperate my patient with me. 1, 2, 3. And then, I will still assist the patient to sit in the chair, slowly. I will count again 1, 2, 3, mom. 1, 2, 3. And that's how we will do the transferring the patient from bed to chair. Lag rolling technique. This technique is when the patient is suspected to have a fracture to her spinal cord. Also, this technique is we need to have a 2 to 3 nurses to assist the patient. To synchronize, I need to count 1 to 3 to turn the patient to her right side smoothly. Me and the other nurse will assist the patient to move her at her right side. 1, 2, 3. Like this. And when the patient is needed to transfer, we will need to put the stretcher here. And that's how we will do the lab rolling technique. Our topic position. The patient will sit in the bed like this and we will use a bed table but for now I will use my study table because we don't have a bed table. And this study table we will put this across her lap like this. Next we will place a pillow to over bed table and move it directly to the upper body. Go. Assist the patient to lean forward and place her both arm in the pillow like this and slightly bend at her elbow to bring comfort. Our top neck position. This position is when the patient is having a difficulty of breathing and they can press the lower part of the chest against the edge of the overbed table to breathe properly. Trendelenburg position. In this position, we will need a hospital bed. But we don't have a hospital bed, so we will need to use the pillows and put it under the legs of the patient to lift up her lower part of the body. And now we will do it. This is the final of the Trendbelen Birch. Also, if you have a hospital bed, the patient is in supine. 
and the head of the bed is down and the entire body frame is tilted downward with the head approximately 30 degrees level horizontal and a pillow can be used to protect the head from the headboard. Trendelenburg Lenberg Position This position is used to provide postural drainage of the basal lung lobe. And that's all the procedure for today's demonstration. Thank you for watching!